good, really good, yeah. I mean, again, the team that's come through from League One obviously had to consolidate and, and like they've done last season, obviously at a different venue and not being able to play at their, their own stadium is always difficult as well. And they adapted that adapted to that really well and stayed in the division. This year they look stronger. Um, and that's something, you know, that Mark has, has he's done a fantastic job there at Coventry, bringing them through from League Two to League One with the Championship. Um, and again, it's a team that's found its feet very, very well in the Championship this season. Uh, haven't come through from League One you know, the season prior. So, um, yeah, very good. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Um, we watched a bit on them this morning, uh, not too much. We, we know we're at home, we want to make sure that we, we attack the game, we play on the front foot. Um, they've had a great start to the season, you know, they've strong structure, they've got goals in the team, they've got good attacking threats, so we know we're up against a real tough opponent, but, you know, we need to look at ourselves and, and see where we can hurt them first and foremost. effort from Coventry, they peppered the City goal tonight with different players firing from outside the area, really testing the pro of my hill, makes another good save. Here's Campbell, still there, trying to get it in behind to Follett, would sit up for it. Best can't control it, Ryan Hughes, Wayne Brown, now Follett. Chip goes in off the post, and in the dying minutes of this encounter, the Tigers have taken the lead with what could be the crucial winning goal. Caleb Bowling, the man in the right place at the right time. Four minutes of added time there will be. The fans who headed to the exits early will be kicking themselves. And let me tell you, there was a fair few who left early. They'll be regressing that one.